Hey, 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 Sunday night, energy focus for the week. Coming in a little early tonight, Academy Awards are on, what can I say, the Oscars. So I wanted to come in a little early, take some time to focus for the week, talk about what's going on, look to the cosmos for guidance. How's everybody doing? Hey, Mayor, come on in and join me. Share it out. Let me know you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up. So much going on in the cosmos. The moon is about to rise again. Really huge, really big. I'm looking at it like I'll see it right there. It's coming out. Yeah, definitely. So much going on. We're on day 40 in the Empowered Spirit Circle. We're doing the Abundance Meditation. 42 days. We have two more days. A lot of people have been joining in, having some really fun and great results. I was sharing tonight in the group that Yesterday in the mail, I got my mortgage statement. I've been in this house not quite a year, and I got a mortgage statement saying my mortgage had gone down. Yay! How's that for bringing in abundance? I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. I see people coming in and gathering. I'm over here on Facebook. I'm in the Empowered Spirit Circle and Instagram. So hello, everybody. Let's begin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream video for the Empowered Spirit Show podcast. So this is where I come on live and in video to talk about the cosmic forces, what's going on out there in the universe, to align the energy, and to look and see what we can look at for the week ahead. All right, so we all know big old full moon, super moon, snow moon, moon and Leo, so many different names for the same big old illuminated moon out there in the sky at night. So the moon is actually in Leo, while the sun sign is actually in Aquarius. So we have the collective energy that's at Aquarian energy with Leo, which is more individualized energy. So the thing that it's really asking us to do last night, today, and even into tomorrow, um, even into tomorrow is where are you fitting in to the whole bigger picture? And I was asking this question last night, like, what am I doing? Where do I fit into the work I'm trying to put out there? Why do I seem to like do it the hard way, putting myself out there? And those are the questions that will be coming up for everybody, really, right? If you stop long enough and go deep within yourself, look at what that emotional body, that's what the full moon does. It pushes on the emotional body. What is it asking you? What are some of the questions coming up from you? Or are you just kind of keep running and keeping busy and not dealing with it? Well, lately, I've been having to deal with everything, it seems. <laughs> My whole life just seems so different, all right? I mean, gosh, the home and and a new car now, and even like my phone looks different, like everything is starting to show up for me in the physical world as well as within myself. And that's part of it. When we start to shift our energy within and ask these questions, that's where the outside starts to shift. It comes from within and it moves out. So this time right now, over this next week, we're gonna really just kind of be dealing with this energy when we get to that full moon, we're always at the height of the cycle. And then after tomorrow, we're gonna to start to release out some of that extra energy. All right, look at the crazy weather this weekend, the extra rain, we have a lot of rain coming in, the snow where all that was, even Atlanta and Nashville got snow. That full moon is just pulling on everything, creating these shifts, creating these changes. All right, so when we have it out there in the big old light in the sky, we feel it in the water in our body. We feel in the illumination of our spirit. So right now it is asking you, how are you expressing yourself? What changes are you making so that you can be more in a line with what's going on? All right, so look for it this week as you move through it. Look to ask those yourself, ask yourself those questions. Journal, write them down, draw a few cards with those questions in mind so that then you can start to understand like where things are going for you. That will help you be more decisive in your life. Now, be gentle with yourself. We don't have to have all the answers right now, all right? We really don't. I can work through this myself over the next course of the week or so and just let these answers unfold. Let myself visualize, let myself feel the energy that's bringing it in for me, all right? So really just being present, being aware, finding those new perspectives, all right? We've talked about this, how all that Capricorn energy, we're seeing some of that start to shift up. We might seem to feel like all of it's too rigid. So some of that structure and order will start to break away. It's going to start to fall down. So as we strive to get to know, that's me, get to know more of what we're doing in our lives and get to asking ourselves questions and being open trying new things, getting out there, doing this kind of work for yourself, it's going to be easier for you to understand more and more of what is going on. 
So some of the other energy that, that my astrology circles have been talking about is some of the Venus energy coming in. Venus has moved out of Pisces into Aries and is kind of aligning with the energy of Chiron. Now, Chiron is all about the wounded healer. It's all about that part of us that we've been through heartache, we've been through breakup, we've been through hard times, and now it's like, well, let's learn from it. Venus shines that light to really love that part, to be open to healing those parts within you. So Chiron, the wounded healer, comes in with Venus energy. And lots of times, those are the questions you're asking yourself anyway. What happened to me? Why did this occur? Why did the breakup occur? What am I doing? What is my romance? I mean, where can love help you to open up to those old wounds, right? And open up to some of those romantic feelings. All right, yes, the weekend will be Valentine's Day, which is kind of more of a Hallmark holiday, right? We kind of made it up. But all of us think about it. We all wonder. We all want to have that little Valentine, right? That was like kind of a school thing. Who's going to get the most Valentines? So it pushes it out of perspective. But the energy we will feel is the Venus coming in with the Chiron. And that's going to be asking you to just kind of really take in what has happened in your life in that kind of hurtful way for you. Where can you learn it and turn it around? And especially, what can you let go of? All right, that's that full moon energy. That's that release. And it's like, okay, maybe you thought you already let it all go, but maybe there's a little bit more. I know for me, I tend to continue crying here and there, and right? have to release more energy. And that's really what we're going to be looking at as you move through the week. It's not going to be an especially volatile time, but it is going to ask you to ask some of those questions. And being that Leo is the energy of where the moon is right now, that's that courage, right? That courage to really heal these old wounds that you have going on. That courage to step into this energy for your highest good. All right? Sometimes when we're in that hurt, we don't always understand it, but later on down the road, we can picture it and understand it even better. All right? So we're going to have a lot of the energy coming in to help you just heal and make resolutions and really understand more of what yourself is working forward as we move into this year. Wednesday and Thursday, we might have a little bit more discomfort coming up, and then we're going to move that out as we move into Friday. Although we do have a moon in Scorpio over the weekend, so that will be some of that fire and that passionate energy coming forward. Perfect, right? All right. Kiza Monks. Oh, Kika. Huge physical. Oh, no. Kika, let's talk. All right. Sending you some lots of love and vibration. All right. All right. So basically, that's what we do. As we start off the week, we're going to just kind of let this energy move through. Take some time for yourself. Be really gentle. It's not going to be anything explosive as you move through your work week as well. But know that you might feel some of that excess um, emotional energy coming forward. Sit with yourself. Be gentle. Try to work through. Try to ask those questions. Find a way to really get into some of that Venus energy for yourself, whether it's opening up to some of the healing or maybe even some healing with a partner, maybe going deeper with that kind of energy as well. All right. And then as you move towards the weekend, try to enjoy some of that energy that comes in with Venus. Shine some light, whether it's beauty for yourself, take time for yourself, take time to just even make yourself feel really good. That's going to help you move through all of this week and into the next. All right. Appreciate that illuminated moon coming in tonight. A light is shining on all of us to wake up, to do this work and break up the old systems. Yes, 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 we have to. And that you may feel on yourself as well. All right. So let's just take a moment and pull all this energy in. Let it settle in so we can line our energy out of here. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Lighting a little sage, calling back your energy. It's been scattered around from the weekend, maybe even the week. Call it in, inhaling up the body and exhaling down. Sending Reiki out, each and every one of you, now or later, whenever you watch it. <clears throat> And just allow yourself to settle in. It's out the medicine wheel today. Beautiful day. Being on Mother Earth. <clears throat> and just looking to the teachings. Taking our time in this very present moment. The season of winter. In the direction of the north, we find ourselves in the medicine wheel. For our dreams, our visions. Looking to the elders for wisdom and inspiration calling in the directions for guidance and protection to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, 
calling into your spirit, feeling that alignment coming in, pulling the spiritual body in, aligning with the physical body, finding yourself dropping into the heart. <clears throat> A lot of sage, all the sage. Feel yourself dropping into the heart, setting your intention for this week, right into that third eye center. Feel those intentions for you. Asking those questions of how you fit in. What is your work? What do you do? Feel those intentions. And then allow those elevated emotions of how you will feel as this abundance comes in for you. These intentions come in for you. How will you feel? Loving, joy, peaceful. And let those elevated emotions lift up and move out through your field of energy, out with this Reiki energy to attract all the many elements you need for those intentions. Inhaling, sending the breath up the body, and exhale, sending it all the way back down. Feel that connection with Mother Earth, opening up that first chakra. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Inhaling, and exhaling. Taking a moment and honoring that beautiful moon that will come in this evening. No matter where you are, that moon is out there. And allow it to illuminate on the parts that need illumination. Allow it to come in to find the darkness and the shadows, lifting it up to joy and peace, finding the courage to roar for your life, to stand up for you, inhaling and exhaling. Can choose to bathe your crystals in the moonlight tonight. Another way to bring the energy in. One more breath, inhaling and exhaling. Bringing the awareness back, pulling your energy back in as we look to the cards for some guidance. All right. Fun cards tonight, drawing from the wild unknown. So the first card that comes up is the Six of Swords. All right. So this is a card that kind of indicates that you have had some hardships. You've had some struggles. It's like laying on a heap in the floor. But this is also the card that says, okay, you can move to easier times. The harder part is over. Look how it rises up to the rainbow. All right. And this is allowing yourself, kind of like we were talking about too, like being gentle with yourself, allowing yourself to know that easier times are coming. The rainbow is right above. So let it go. It's also swords. Swords is our mental chatter, all the chatter that we're doing. All right. Let that go as well. All right, and know that you can rise up as you move through this week. And that's a good card for coming out of that full moon, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday energy. All right, now, if you chose card number one, I love it because as you let all that excess go, the sun comes out. Yes, and this is a card like never ending. This is a card that the light is going to continue to shine. You're going to have those good days. Things are going to move forward for you no matter how hard it may seem. The sun is going to shine on your back door. I love that saying, and it's so true when we have this card. It really is. It's a great one to remind us we've had some hard times. Things aren't always easy, but the sun is going to shine on you. All right? It really fits in with the courage, doesn't it? The second card is the Five of Cups. All right, now this is a healing card as well. All right, this is indicative like you have had some hardships too. Five has changed. Some things have come in. Maybe you aren't so happy with it. But it will help you to understand that you can heal. And again, it's loving yourself, knowing you're moving through changes. Now, I always like to talk about, don't forget to lift your head up. Look, the cups are up here. Don't forget to lift your head up and recognize you're moving forward, horsepower, moving forward in a better direction, even if you do have some of the heart energy that's moving through changes for you. All right, it is a healing card. And then the third card is the Nine of Pentacles. And I love this card because after all said and done, it reminds you that you're doing your work. Things are lining in order. It's a very orderly card. The pentacles are in the middle. The lines are moving across. You've got the reds and the oranges. It's like you're working the energy up, all right? Definitely. Horses for you. Hey, Summer. Yes. Yeah, so this is a very really like, like this is also like gratitude too. Like things are at, things are coming into alignment in the physical form for you. So be a grateful when this card shows up. No, there is more. Nan's always showing you that there is more to come. But this is everything is lining up as you do the work that you've come in to do. All right. So let it go. 
let it go know that you can rise above it let the mental chatter of your mind go very much in line with the heart energy too heal it let it go move it through the cups are above all right you're moving into better water the sun's gonna shine all right so don't give up the sun's gonna shine and know that things are lining up even if you feel a little lost at times things are lining up for you in the physical world so do the work that you need to do all right take a nice deep inhale and exhale as we let this all let it go frozen as we let it all settle in let me know if you have any questions if you'd like a card great podcast dropped yesterday it was with a, a skeptic on reiki she talks about being a skeptic at first she was from the uk london rachel welford really fun conversations we really had a great chat check it out it dropped yesterday you can find it on my website empowered spirit show or all the favorite podcast apps links in the bio all that kind of thing all right, this week we're continuing with gathering for building a Reiki community. We're meeting at the bathhouse. Reach out if you'd like more information. I've sent out a few um, emails and I've posted about it as well. Tuesday morning, 9 a.m., Reiki Circle and Restorative Yoga continue every week at Wednesday evenings. And that's all I can think of for now. I will be, <laughs> I will be um, posting my information on the Reiki Mastery Retreat coming up in June. All right, that's what's going on for me. Let's see, who would like a card? All right, Kika, I'm gonna draw a card for you right now concerning your health situation. I remember you had the lime. Let me know what's going on. I'll reach out to you as well. All right, but there is a new begetting coming and that's in the physical, Kika. This is a good card. Most of the time we think of it like in, the, in work or business, new idea, but you're talking about your physical health right now. So yes, there could be a new beginning for that coming for you all right reach out let's see what's going on for you i miss you follow you on instagram though all right let's see who else would like a card who is martin get out martin all right let it go all right raylene marissa next and then mayor okay raylene this card is for you this is a five of pentacles and this is another healing card the fives are always about change so this is in the physical so there is some of the physical healing that needs to be done Maybe there has been a little bit of the heartache. Look how the rose appears to be bleeding. All right, so what can you heal in the aspects of the physical world? Is there some kind of, sometimes it looks like money loss, things of that nature, all right? That kind of loss versus just in the emotional energy, which we saw before. So what's going on for you, Raylene, that, that this is creating? And what can you do to really just kind of own up to it and, and really do some of that healing? All right, let me know how that sits for you, all right? All right, Maris. All right, Maris, this is the Nine of Swords. This is definitely not one of my favorite cards. It looks like it's crazy, crazy, crazy. However, there is order, and that's just for you. All right, but it is a little bit of the mental chatter, getting too much in her head, taking ideas and really going down, spinning them a little too far forward. So pull it in. Know that you can clean this up, all right, and that there is some order going on, but again, trying to find the ways to clear the chatter out of the mind is always a good thing, okay? Definitely. All right, Mayor. Mayor, we got the two of wands. So this card is about making a decision. Everything is pointing towards a decision for you. Two is always about seeing the dualities in life. We're in a two month. We have a lot of twos this month. So where are things pointing? Look how it comes to a point. All right, so if you need to make a decision, put all that energy to move it forward. We always look at like, what are we not looking at when we have to make a decision sometimes? So what is it for you? All right. All right, Summer. Okay, message to chill. Yes, Marissa, that was a perfect understanding of that card. That was excellent. Yay, I love it. Yep, I love it. Good interpretation. Message to chill. All right, so Summer, this card is for you. Summer, this is the star. All right, this goes really well with the, with the sun card, but the star is really like, don't give up hope. Continue to look up there. Know you have a guiding star. All right? Call in your guides, call in your masters. There's a guiding star out there. Go outside and look up. Tonight you'll see the moon, but you have a guiding star out there. This is a card of not giving up hope, all right? Really open up to that energy. You're totally protected, all right? All right, all right. Mara says, thanks. All right, Marissa, I really loved your interpretation of that. Better than your me. Yay, I love it. How much fun is that? All right, Kate, how about a card for you? Are you, how are you doing? I'm gonna draw this one for you. 
All right, this is the Eight of Swords. All right, so this is also about kind of pulling your energy in, but also, too, about making some choices about yourself for yourself, not getting caught listening to everybody else. You don't want to fall down into what everybody else is thinking. And this is of the mental, all right? So really just kind of what are your own thoughts? And under this full moon, that's exactly what you can ask yourself. Who am I and what am I doing? And that's a great way to look at it. All right, yay, Summer, good for you. All right, who else? Anybody else I missed? It's going to be an interesting week. There's nothing really major, but that Venus and Chiron energy will be pulling on some of the past things that have happened. But know that we all can change it. We all can change our circumstances. A lot of it is mind shift. A lot of it's going deep within. And sometimes we have to sit in some of the pain and hurt, but that's okay. Just don't do it alone. Reach out. Join in. Use Reiki. Use your tools to get out of your own way as we open up to all this energy that's coming forward at this time. All right? Lots of shifts. Lots of changes. All right. Anybody else? Come join us to help build a Reiki community in Birmingham if you're in the local area. Hill needs a card. All right, we got one more. All right, this one is for Hill. All right, this is interesting. This is a seven of swords. So this is always about like looking under the surface. We always have that little sly fox sitting on one of those swords. So what is underneath the surface there? And it is in the mental chain, mental patterns, all right? So what are some of those thoughts that's not being seen because they're being hidden? Lots of times in the traditional deck, we see somebody kind of like sneaking away. So what is some secret of energy going on? Is it a secret about you or a secret you're keeping from others? All right. Lots of swords tonight. Yes. And you know, that's the mental plane as well. All those swords coming up, helping us to get out of the chatter of the mind. Sometimes we see that mixed with the full moon energy of the emotions. All right. Leo is more of the fire energy. So it is pushing all of us to ask a lot of these questions. And Sometimes we'll start spinning them in our minds if we don't get rid of them. I know that for sure. So find the tools. Tap it out and do a lot of tapping. Run your energy. Sit in meditation. Go for a walk. Meditate. Slow down. All right? We must slow down. Today I did not do work at the medicine wheel. I just like meditated. And we did a few little bit of horseback riding too. Hey, Lauren, I see you just jumped on. All right, y'all. It's going to be a great week. Open your heart as you move through this week. Open your heart, especially to yourself. All right. Open your heart, especially to your own self. All right. Thanks again for joining me. Oh, wait, I forgot to say, if you're not in my empowered spirit circle, come on over and join me. I am starting to offer as I finish up this next level of Akashic training, I will be offering free, free Akashic clearings. And we're going to start working with money. All right. After we finish the abundance thing that we're doing just to clear away. So we'll be doing grounding. I'll be offering these tools to help you. All you have to do is show up and participate and leave me a comment or two. All right, that'll start next week. All right, wanted to let everyone you know. The link to my Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook is in the bio. Come join us if you're not already in the group. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Feel yourself grounding in energy, allowing your intention to guide you through this week. Lift up your emotions. Find the gratitude, the joy, the peace, and the love as you move through this week. Inhale and exhale. Thanks again for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.